Welcome to Helsinki. This week we are in the Finnish capital and we are going to be showing you some of the top attractions you should check out in the summertime. With its long days and short nights, summertime is a great time to be in Helsinki. This was our second visit to the Finnish capital and we were excited as ever to experience it for a couple of days. With summer in full swing, we enjoyed dinners al fresco, boat trips to nearby islands, and lots of walking around town. Here's a look at how we spent our time in Helsinki. One of our favorite things about being in Helsinki were all the street performances taking place. Esplanade Park hosted several concerts which were free to the public. So right now we're going to be visiting one of the most famous landmarks in all of Helsinki. This is Helsinki Cathedral and what's really cool about this church is that it's very different from other churches you find across Europe. Most European churches are very elaborate, they have a lot of paintings inside. However, once we go inside this church, you're going to see that it's very simple, very white, very clean, and it just looks like a blank canvas. Helsinki Cathedral overlooks Senate Square, so after you visit the church, you can sit down on the steps and watch people go by. Very exciting moment for me here in Helsinki. I'm an enormous Salmiaki fan, which is black salty licorice. It's extremely salty, and this particular kiosk here is famous because it sells over 91 different varieties of Salmiaki products. Okay, so what did you order from the kiosk? I got my favorite kind of salmiaki product, salmiaki ice cream. It's like the best of both worlds. It's very salty, it's very has a very strong licorice taste, and it's of course ice cream. Who doesn't like ice cream? And the coolest part here is that it's actually shaped like a salmiaki candy. It has that exact shape. So good. So what we're about to show you is called Dinner in the Sky and you're going to see some people sitting up on a table, just hanging from a crane. Look for yourself. Market Square is a great place to pick up fresh vegetables and berries. And you can also try a number of traditional Finnish dishes ranging from grilled salmon to reindeer meatballs. We frequented the market almost daily, and at 10 euros a meal, we thought it was a budget-friendly option for travelers. So it's now time for lunch and we've stopped off at Market Square, one of my favorite places to grab a really tasty and cheap meal. Today we are having grilled salmon with potatoes and vegetables. And yeah, let's go enjoy this before it gets too cold. Hungry boy, ready for the first bite? It's time for some salmon. Mm. I never get tired of eating salmon. If I had lived here, I'd probably be eating this daily. So now that we're finished eating, we're going to show you the more crafty side of Market Square. This is a great place to pick up some traditional Finnish products and souvenirs to take back home. Helsinki has a thriving design district and I really enjoyed visiting various shops which showcase the best of Scandinavian design. My favorite of course was Marimekko which is renowned for its bold patterns and bright colors. So right now I'm in the Marimekko store which is one of the most famous design stores in all of Finland. Finland has a unique tradition where people come and wash their carpets on floating docks by the sea. The carpets are then left to dry overnight without fear of anyone stealing them. After washing your carpets, it's a great area where you can just go and grab a drink and relax. So 
Up next, we are visiting the Campi Chapel of Silence. This chapel is located in one of the busiest areas of Helsinki, and it's supposed to be a place where anyone can drop by and just enjoy a moment of silence. No services are held in this church, but they do have clergy and social workers on hand if anyone needs to speak with them. So Sam, do you think one day you'll be able to grow an impressive beard like Santa's? Never. It looks like peachy fuzz that I glued onto my face. Helsinki has a number of unique landmarks and attractions, one of them being this church carved out of a rock. And what's really cool about it is that this church has amazing acoustics, so it's actually a very popular concert hall. The roof consists of a copper dome surrounded by a skylight, which allows natural light to stream into the building. During one of our afternoons in Helsinki, we hopped aboard the Helsinki sightseeing cruise. The trip was an hour and a half in length and we got to see the various islands that make up the city's archipelago. It was a beautiful sunny day with blue skies and we saw a lot of sailboats out on the water. day to be outdoors today and we are all geared up to go on a bike ride we are going to be taking the tour of Helsinki Really silly with your ball cap and a helmet on top. Come on, I'm starting a new fashion trend over here. This is what's considered cool these days. Oh, really? No, no, definitely not. But what is cool is that just getting outside of Helsinki a few kilometers and you're out right in the woods. This is amazing. Let's do 360. We just finished our four hour long bike ride around Helsinki and next up we are going kayaking. Right now it's 9 p.m. still bright out and I think we're supposed to be back at midnight so let's go. Normally, I like to do a single kayak because I don't really trust them on the water, but I've been tough into this double kayak for newlywed couples. Teamwork. Tough. Teamwork. Except I'm the only one paddling because you're sitting back there filming. Yep, that's about right. Oh, the Barry. beers in the, in the back of the double kayak. Yeah, I'll just have the beers sit back and let her do all the work. Right, Audrey? Oh, hush. Paddle! Paddle faster! Okay. No! Don't make it wobble! I'm gonna tip it over! Wobble, 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 Sam, that is not Sam! Okay, stop it! It is 11.30 now and we are paddling back home in the dark with nothing but the moon and our lights to guide us. This is a city that comes alive during the summer months and it was great enjoying all the events taking place in the city 
as well as relaxing outdoors. We loved revisiting Helsinki and we discovered so many new places that we had completely skipped over the first time around. Have you been to Helsinki? Let us know about your experiences in the comments below. For more travel and food videos, hit subscribe. So this is our first official little video here in Helsinki and we are just about to have a simple picnic lunch. We got some smoked salmon. Ooh la la, that looks tasty, isn't it? Got ourselves a nice baguette sandwich to enjoy in the park. A lovely pasta salad with feta cheese and some fizzy drinks to go along. So we're just going to enjoy the view and mm. savor our dinner. Smoked salmon is easily my favorite part of this little picnic. It's a wonderful cheap meal. We were able to get all of this food for just roughly about 10 euro. So instead of going out for dining tonight, we just decided to hit up a local grocery store, pick out some things that look good, and it's turned into a fantastic little feast here on the park bench. Get it ready, it's eating the cheese. Hello, bird. impression of Finland one of the things we've noticed the most is just how cool the temperature is I'm loving it I could walk outside and I'm not sweating profusely the city is definitely a lot quieter than where we come from we've been living in Thailand for a few months and we're used to tuk-tuks motorcycles honking swerving and everything just yeah, and meanwhile you can hear sirens and motorbikes in the background. Oh no, that's fine. And you <laughs> can say this totally disproves my point. Huh? there's a really big biking and fitness culture here. Everyone seems to be riding around on their bikes, inline skating. And in this kind of weather, who can blame them? So this is a bit of a cool supermarket we found right here. If you are too busy to go do the groceries, all you need is your little smartphone. You scan the barcodes for milk, meatballs, ravioli, whatever, and they just deliver it to your place, just like that. Wow. came across a bridge with love locks and that kind of reminded me of our love lock video that we made back in Korea. So it is 8.45 p.m. right now but as you can see it is still daylight out and that's because we are in the land of the midnight sun. So that's just a quick little intro into Helsinki. We're both really tired so we're gonna go get caught up on some sleep and we'll make some more videos this week. We are with Raquel, our Finnish Canadian <laughs> friend who is showing us around and we're going to an island called Suomenlinna. Does that mean anything? It's like Finland. Linna is kind of like a castle.
arrived here finally and we honestly have no idea what we're gonna be doing. There's no tourist information. We're just gonna wander around. It's like a village. A cute village. I think this looks like Anne of Green Gables in Finland. <laughs> you know, the cute little wooden houses. Right? wedding on an island. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect way to cool down after a little walk around the island. What flavors do you have? Pistachio. And I have raspberry sherbet. And what's that in Finnish? <laughs> and I'm having the one unique to Finland, black licorice ice cream. And it is delicious. How do you, what is this called in Finnish? That one's lakritsa citrona. Lemon. Lacrisa citrina. <laughs> <laughs> it's lemon and black licorice. Lemon and black licorice. Wow, this is really, really good. I don't believe it. <laughs> mm. So this is day two in Helsinki. It is chilly as ever, and we are going to do some sightseeing, maybe visit a few churches and markets. And if we can, we want to have reindeer meat at some point in the day. Oh, you're eating Santa's helper? I'm going to be taking a bite out of Rudolph. <laughs> we found a little dog park. Let's see how friendly these pups are. introducing Uspensky Cathedral. This is one of the best known churches in Helsinki and it is an Eastern Orthodox Church. This particular vantage point on the rock is one of the most popular areas in the city for people to have picnics. While we were walking here yesterday, we saw about four or five different groups over here just having their own little picnic and just watching the city as things go by. Hello. What am I? I didn't see her body. Harbor Market. It seems to be one of the bigger markets in uh, Helsinki. And what we found to eat, we found reindeer meatballs. So we're gonna go try those right now. Reindeer meatballs. Here we go. Hi. Could we please try the reindeer meatballs? Yes, yeah, sure. Let's see which are the meatballs. Oh, those are big meatballs. I think those are the potatoes. That's not. That's not. 
Hello. Can I have some vegetables as well? This is salad. Oh sure. Yeah. Okay, thank you. How about garlic sauce? I'm um, sure. Yeah. Please. Well no, I'm not ready, but geez. Okay, I, don't I think am I filming. have much of a choice. That seems like a big enough chunk, right? It is, and what are you having? Reindeer meatball. First bite. <laughs> is it good? <laughs> yeah, is it good? It tastes like a regular meatball. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it doesn't have a very strong reindeer flavor. It's more garlicky from all the sauce we put <laughs> over top. <laughs> and these have to be the biggest meatballs I have ever seen in my whole life. <laughs> Okay, but let's see what you think of it. Yeah, they don't have as distinct of a flavor as I thought they may, but what I really like here is this garlic sauce that's been put over top. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Here at the market, this time we've got a salmon dish. Same price, about roughly 10 euros, and this is smothered in garlic sauce. I already know I'm gonna like it. Oh wow, that just melts in your mouth. Surprise, surprise, surprise. We are back in Finland almost one year to the date that we left. And this is awesome. This is one of my favorite countries in all of Europe. And most people, when they arrive somewhere, they go and freshen up. They might splash a little water on their face, maybe go to the washroom after a long nine hour flight. But no, what's the first thing I do? I get my salmiaki candy. I've been craving this for over a year. And I'm already ate half the bag, and I'm having even more now. So good. So what we're about to show you is called Dinner in the Sky and you're going to see some people sitting up on a table just hanging from a crane. Look for yourself. So the port area market square appears to be even bigger and busier than last year. It's just bustling with activity and there's a ferris wheel right over there. A wee bit hot and tired, are we? Oh my gosh, so sweaty and tired. I need a shower and the bed. And you know what? This is easily the hottest day we've ever experienced in Finland. Yes. It's over 30. We stayed here last year. We did. Oh. Let's check out the room. Come on in. So this room here used to be a jail cell, which explains why the windows are so high up so the prisoners couldn't escape. And also, they have really thick curtains here in Finland, and that's because during the summer, the sun just stays up a really long time and you wouldn't be able to sleep otherwise. So we're back in Finland on an eight day adventure and we plan on shooting a daily vlog. Basically what we want to do is just show you exactly what we're doing, what it's like to be in Finland in the summer, both in the city and outside in the countryside doing more adventure types of activities. We just 
arrived at Lona Island. This used to be a former military island and it has just opened to the public this summer. So we're going to check it out. It's a really cool meal. We had grilled fish and potatoes and that's just like the quintessential Finnish summer meal. When we were looking for unique places to stay in Helsinki, we ended up stumbling upon an article about a prison hotel in the city. So that is where we are today. We're going to give you a tour of the place. Staying in jail cell number 319. This is the oldest hotel building in Finland. It's used as a prison right up until 2002. In 2007, it was converted into a hotel. So we are having breakfast right now in the basement. It has a bit of a dungeon-y feel. And I love that we get tin cups. It really adds to the whole prison feel. Almost feel like I'm a prisoner here. But with really good food. So my favorite part about breakfast are these pastries. They are called cranium pies, and apparently they are filled with potato. They're supposed to look like brains. Tastes like brains? Oh yeah. Mm. And my favorite part of breakfast here is just this awesome combination of trail mix, fresh berries, and thick yogurt. Wow. This is where the prisoners exercised and they would have just walked around the perimeter of the prison. Apparently the male prisoners dug a tunnel from the men's common room to the women's jail cell. They did this not to escape but for social hour. So this little mushroom would have been where the security guard sat when the prisoners were out walking. He had to make sure that no one escaped. He also had a German shepherd to help him, but this was his little shelter, even in the winter when it was snowing. Sounds like torture, doesn't it? So the hotel has a little outdoor cafe nice little terrace it's called the jailbird and here you can just sample some beers enjoy some reindeer meat and other Finnish delicacies and there's also live music almost every night we do yeah and who better to go into jail than Audrey Bergner who is known for being a naughty girl what <laughs> So it's our first full day in Finland and it's finally breakfast time. We actually woke up at like 2.30 in the morning because we were jet lagged. And then the sun slowly started coming up at like 4.30 in the morning. So we've been waiting for this a long time. Someone's hungry. Yes. So that was a really filling breakfast. I think we're both just stuffed. So we're going to go on a very small walk around the jail hotel and show you the sights. They have a really cool little garden where it appears they're growing their own vegetables. It's a beautiful 
beautiful day to be outdoors today and we are all geared up to go on a bike ride. We are going to be taking a tour of Helsinki. Really silly with your ball cap and a helmet on top. Come on, I'm starting a new fashion trend over here. This is what's considered cool these days. Oh, really? No, no, definitely not. But what is cool is that just getting outside of Helsinki a few kilometers and you're out right in the woods. This is amazing. Let's do 360. So we just finished our four hour long bike ride around Helsinki and next up we are going kayaking. Right now it's 9 p.m. Still bright out and I think we're supposed to be back at midnight so let's go. Normally, I like to do a single kayak because I don't really trust them on the water, but I've been tough into this double kayak for newlywed couple. Teamwork. Huh. Teamwork. Except I'm the only one paddling because you're sitting back there filming. Yep, that's about right. Oh, the barrier. A few beers in the, in the back of the double kayak. Yeah, I'll just have the beers, sit back, and let her do all the work. Right, Audrey? Oh, hush. Paddle! Paddle faster! Okay. No! Don't make it wobble! I'm gonna tip it over! Wobble, 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 wobble! Sam, that is not. Sam. Okay, stop it! It is 11.30 now and we are paddling back home in the dark with nothing but the moon and our lights to guide us. Yeah. 
Okay, what's your favorite of the three? I'm gonna go with the light girly beer. <laughs> I'm surprised. Of course. Of course. <laughs> I'm a little sad about it, but I'm in Finland, so I have to try reindeer. Reindeer is a tastier one. It really is. It's a very rich taste. Much different from the meatballs we had before the other day. This definitely has a real, much stronger taste to it. Wow. If I had to compare it to something, it tastes like a really strong seasoned roast beef. I'm gonna think of it as salami. Okay, it tastes like salami. Well, there we go. It is similar to a salami or, or a roast beef kind of cold cut. A little sour? Right? Yeah. A little yeah. sour and yeah. salty? Do you okay. like it? Yeah. It's growing on you? <laughs> Not growing on me, but it, it's okay. Your cold slave ship that we're gonna feel so in a market that so Sam has been talking about the reindeer ever since we landed in Finland, so I'm glad he finally got to try it. It was a bit of a pricey appetizer, I have to admit. It was 16 euro, a bit steep, but it was a good experience. I'd say it was worth it. The reindeer cold cuts definitely had a distinct taste, quite sour, and it was certainly a lot better than the meatballs we had tried the other day. 